Welcome to your strength and plyo pyramid class. For equipment today, we're going to need a single heavy weight and then a set of medium weights. So for my single heavy, I'm going to use a 20 pound. And then for my two mediums, I'm using a set of 10 pound weights. If you want to have options for modifying, I would have slightly lighter ones on hand as well. There'll be some jumping throughout class. Whenever they'll be jumping, I will have a low impact modification. So you can keep class, no jumping if you'd like to. Those will be playing on screen as we go. If you're new to strengthen plyo pyramid classes, they're broken up into two pyramids. In each one, I'm gonna give you five exercises. First time through the exercises, you do them each for 60 seconds. Next time, just 45 seconds. And finally, just 30 seconds. You get 15 seconds to rest in between exercises. Longer to rest at the end of a completed circuit. In between the two pyramids, I'll give you a full minute to recover a little longer. And during that time, I'll give you a preview of the upcoming exercises. We'll use our single heavy for the first pyramid. We'll use our two mediums for the second pyramid. We'll start class with a guided warm up focused on mobility and some light cardio to gradually build the heart rate up. And we will finish up class with a guided cool down. No equipment needed for our warm up. We can start standing. And let's just do a fluid side bend. So as one arm comes up, the other scoops over. And then we're just gonna take it slowly up and over to the other side. I want you to go slow because I want you to think of first growing tall through the spine, then side bending up and over. Up, over, elongate, side bend. Two more. And then I want you to extend your arms out to the sides or in front of you, just kidding. We're gonna make like a half rainbow shape with the arms adding in a torso twist. So one arm is gonna circle up and over as you twist open in that direction and then you square it back off other side you circle it up and around now your hips are pointing forward as you do this so the twist is just coming through your mid spine and up keep those hips pointing forward don't twist open from there one more each side And then those arms are gonna reach overhead. We're gonna do a good old arm sweep with a hip hinge. Do this almost every class. So a hip hinge is not a squat, although there will, there will be an unlocking of the knees as those hips slide back in a little bend. Think of initiating the movement with those hips sliding back, staying neutral through the spine. We're gonna hold the hip hinge, continue the arm sweep. Next time you hinge, hold that hinge, continue to sweep the arms. Now let's focus on the connection between our core and the arm movement. When you inhale, there's some natural opening of the rib cage, but we do not want to flare open through the front of the ribs. Cause if we do that, we're probably arching into our lower back. Let's switch this to a reverse fly. Palms flip in towards each other. And now we open those arms up wide, focusing on the retraction of the shoulder blades. So your shoulder blades are sliding across the back of your rib cage in towards each other, like they're tapping each other right over your spine. We're gonna do a forward fold, do a squat. Arms get to chill in three, two, one forward fold, hands to the mat. Now in this forward fold, first I just want you to bend into one knee at a time, a little sway side to side, sort of dipping that shoulder towards whatever knee is softening, just to open up through the backs of the legs a little bit before we do forward fold to squat. Give me three, two, one. And now you might need to widen your stance just a smidge. From this forward fold, you're gonna bend into your knees, you're gonna reach your hips back, you're gonna elongate through the spine, lifting your chest. Now you're in this nice hello squat. And then you're just gonna straighten the legs, fingertips to the mat, forward fold. We shoot those hips back, elongate through the spine, lift the chest, squat, and forward fold. We're gonna continue our focus on the hips. We're gonna do a hip circle into a back lunge. So next time you're in your forward fold, vertebrae by vertebrae, just want you to roll it up to stand. Now coming to the top of your mat, we can start with that left knee. We are going to march it up to hip height. We're gonna hinge it open to the left, and then we're gonna to start to rotate within the hip joint as we bend into our right knee. And we're gonna plant that foot on the mat behind us as we step back into a lunge. Stand up, left knee marches, opens to the left. We rotate within the hip joint, so you're kind of bringing your shin parallel to the floor, and then you circle it back and around as you bend into your front right knee, landing in that lunge, twice more this side. 
It's a controlled hip circle, so don't rush these. Last time, and then we'll just switch legs. Stand it up and switch over to the right. So the right knee marches up to hip height, hinges open to the right. Rotate within that hip joint as you circle and step that foot back, land in your low lunge. We're gonna come into some light cardio, some dynamic movement up next, build some heat in the body. Last time this side. We'll start with a squat with a reach and pull and a butt kick up next. So come to stand. So from here, as you squat down, you're gonna reach the arms forward. As you come up, you're gonna pull the elbows back. You're gonna draw one heel in towards your butt. Squat down, other side. So this one, we got a lot going on. We're opening up through the quads, the front of the thighs. We're also playing around with the connection between the back and front side of our body. So as we pull the elbows back, we're not arching into our back and puffing our chest out. We're maintaining neutral. Give me some good old fashioned jumping jacks in two, one, jumping jacks. If you wanna keep these low impact, you're gonna give me step jacks instead, just like that. Our third move will be some lateral movement. We'll just do a gentle skater side to side. In four, three, two, one. So standing on one end of your mat, cut, hinge your hips back, a little bit of a balance, and then just a hopper step to the side, catch yourself. Hopper step to the side, catch yourself. If the balance isn't quite there, then you put the ball of the foot down. Ball of the foot comes down. Otherwise, hover it, hover it. We'll start at the top. Just gonna go through these one more time. Squat to butt kick with that reach and pull in three, two, one, let's go. Reach and pull, squat, kick. Jumping jacks in three, two, one, jumping jacks, let's go. Or step jacks. Skater in four, three, two, one. Find that semi-squat position. I shouldn't say semi-squat, just like a little hinge. Step and catch yourself. We're gonna grab that heavy weight up next. We're gonna finish up our warm up with a hinge to a squat, just so that we've kind of warmed up with that heavy weight before we jump right into our heavy pyramid. In three, two, one. Grab your heavy weight. If you'd rather do this with a single medium weight, you could. We're gonna hold it at our chest. We're gonna do a good morning hinge and then we'll drop to a squat. So open through the chest. You're gonna slide your hips back, neutral spine. So you're connected to your mid back here to hold the chest open. Bend the knees, drop to your squat. Push your feet into the floor, fire through the glutes and core stand. We hinge, we drop to that squat and stand. Two more. Come to stand, and I'm gonna show you a preview of our first pyramid. We're gonna use our single heavy weight, this pyramid, really challenging ourselves, okay? First exercise, in a side lunge, in a hinge position with the torso, it's a row, and then on the second row, you switch sliding into a side lunge on the other side. Second exercise, it's going to be in a split lunge position, and we gotta get really low, because we're gonna pick the weight off of the floor, row, put it down. Step the foot forward, high pull, put it down. Other foot steps back, same thing other side. Third exercise, it is going to be a snatch, or if you're uncomfortable doing a snatch, I just want you to do a high pull, jump squat, other side. Snatch or high pull, other side. Important with the snatch. First part of the movement, hips coming forward. Once the hips are forward, you build off of that power, pull the elbow up, bring that weight overhead. Fourth exercise, I love doing some version of this. It's going to be a squat clean. We're gonna rock forward into a bear plank, two bear plank hops. You're gonna push off back into that low squat. Squat clean, rock forward, two hops. You can always pulse instead of hop if you wanna keep that low impact. Final exercise, body weight only, chest to floor burpees, get excited. You can do any version of burpees you'd like, okay? 
you want to eliminate the lowering of your chest to the floor, maybe you just give me a regular push up. Maybe you just jump to plank and you can always step, step instead of hop to keep it low impact. All right, let's do it. Okay, we get the hardest out of the way first. Row in that side lunge. Row as you slide across to the other side. So you want a wide stance. Knees are tracking in line with your middle to pinky toes. Hinge, okay, so slide the hips back and then slide into the side. Row, row and switch. Now you need to stay neutral through the spine. This is a core exercise. When you're rowing, I want you to think about retracting that shoulder blade. And the focus here, as far as the legs go, is not on a super wide side lunge stance, but on the alignment of the ankle, the knee, and the hip, okay? Hips are reaching back. Row, row, switch. That row switch, it's like a little half row. Kind of row into center, switch hands. If it's too much, go with a lighter weight. Woo, 15 seconds to rest. All right, now from here, it is going to be a row and a lunge. Put the weight on the floor. Step forward, high pull. Switch sides. So it doesn't matter which foot is forward. Whatever foot is forward, the opposite hand is gonna grab that weight. Row, put it on the floor. Back foot steps forward, same hand grabs it. High pull, put it down. Other foot steps back into your lunge. Row, step to your squat, high pull. Other foot steps back. So you need to get low in the lunge so you can put the weight on the ground without rounding your shoulders forward. And a little tip, if you find that you can't get that low without rounding your shoulders, you could do this one with a kettlebell instead of a dumbbell because the handle is a little higher, so you don't have to get quite as low in order to grip it. Sorry, I had to switch to a voiceover just for the next couple minutes. Something happened with my mic, and then it'll go back to normal. Thank you for bearing with me. <laughs> and rest 15 seconds. So up next, we're going to kind of build off of that. We're going to do a snatch. If you're uncomfortable doing a snatch, though, I just want you to do a high pull with a jump squat in between each one. We'll alternate arms. So you're gonna get low through the legs. You initiate the movement with the hips driving forward. So think of coming out of a deadlift. And then you are going to pull the elbow up, bringing that weight overhead. I'm using the power of my legs to get it overhead. So you'll notice my heels come off the ground ever so slightly when I do that snatch. Hips forward, fire through the glutes, then the elbow pulls up. That part is really important or you're going to hurt your back, okay? You don't want to pull the elbow up while your knees are still, when you're still in that low leg position. and rest 15 seconds. All right, so up next, you're gonna take that weight, you're going to put it on its end so it's upright. It is gonna be a squat clean, and then you're gonna rock forward into that bear plank, two hops, or to keep it low impact, two pulses. So get low in that squat, clean the weight, squat down, reverse it, rock forward, bear plank, two hops, and then you're gonna push off your hands, rock back into that low squat. When you do the clean, keep the weight close into your body. And you'll notice in the modification, I'm inch warming out and in instead of rocking forward and back. That's a good modification to take if your wrists bother you at all. Okay. 
and rest. All right, you can put the weight off to the side, get it out of the way. We're gonna go into burpees, final 60 second push in this first pyramid. So I'm doing chest to floor burpees. You can do any version you'd like. If you wanna do a regular push up burpee, go for it, or you can always step step. Let's go. Now I know 60 seconds of burpees, that is a lot. I'm right there with you. We're past that halfway point, under 30 seconds to go, you got this. You have a long recovery on the other side, last few seconds, right till the end. And rest. All right, I'm going to give you 45 seconds to recover here. And then we'll start from the top. And the intervals are going to be shorter. We'll do just 45 seconds per exercise. I apologize. I keep having to switch between voiceovers and the real thing. In several videos this month, I bought a new mic and it just is, it's getting returned and I'm buying a new one. But in the meantime, I'm doing the best I can. All right, we're gonna start from the top with that side lunge, row, row switch. So wide stance, but not too wide. And then we slide our hip over so that it's in line with the knee and the outer ankle, okay? Send the hips back, long spine, open chest, brace through your abdominals. Let's go, we row, and then it's that little half row to center switch. So when you slide your hips over to one side, I want you to stay active through your inner thighs, through the adductors, so that the knee, doesn't go all wonky out to the side. It stays pointing forward, okay? Don't just think about the elbow pulling up. Think about what your shoulder blade is doing. It's retracting to center. rest. All right, so it's going to be that row, step, high pull, other side. So we find that low, you got to get really low through the legs in this one, both in the lunge and in the squat, so that we can grab that weight without rounding. All right, so get low through the legs, row, weight to the floor, step it forward, same hand, high pull. Other foot steps back, get low through the legs. rest. Okay, so now we have that snatch or high pull. If you're more comfortable, jump squat. I'm just using the towel to muffle the sound a little bit for my poor downstairs neighbors. <laughs> God bless them. I seriously love them. They never complain about what I do. I'm so lucky. <laughs> Control it on the way down. And again, the first part of this is that deadlift. Hips drive forward, then the elbow pulls up. It looks like one smooth movement and it is, but just make sure, rest, you start with the legs and you don't start pulling at the bottom, okay? Stand the weight up on its end. Squat clean, rock to your bare plank. Two hops or pulses if you're keeping it low impact. 
And if rocking forward and pushing off bothers your wrists, then inchworm out and inchworm in. Rest, move the weight out of the way. 45 seconds of burpees. Ooh. Any version of burpee you want, if chest to floor isn't working for you. Go. Rest. Okay, 30 seconds of recovery. So a little shorter, but still longer than the 15, okay? Final round coming up, it's just 30 seconds in exercise. We got this. And then you are done with pyramid number one. Side lunge row, row switch. Wide stance, but not too wide. Knees pointing forward along with toes. Send your hip to one side. Hinge those hips back. Rest. All right, row, high pull. Whew. Doesn't matter what foot starts forward because we'll alternate. Got to get really low through the legs. Row, weight to the floor. Step it forward, high pull. Other foot steps back. You can always do this one with a kettlebell if you can't get quite that low and it'd be more comfortable for you to have something a little higher, okay? <sighs> Rest. Okay. Snatch, jump squat. Or high pull jump squat. Let's go. Stand it up on its end. Squat clean. Rock to your bear plank. Two bear plank hops. Let's go.
Okay, we are done with the heavy weight. Put it off to the side. You have 30 seconds of burpees, and then pyramid one is done. Let's go. Done. All right, you have a little over a minute to recover. I'm gonna show you pyramid number two. We're gonna start down on the mat with some core work. First up, you have the weights overhead. It's a single arm chest press. So one arm is up, one elbow is down on the mat, and then it's an oblique windshield wiper. You drop the legs to the side, bring them back up. Second exercise, we're bouncing behind the sitting bones and it's a bicep curl to a press, staying in that V-sit or boat pose position. From there, we come to stand and we have one weight. In a split lunge position, you press the weight out, you give me a torso twist, so still working obliques, bring it back into center, jump lunge, switch, other side. To keep that low impact, instead of the jump lunge, you can just give me a regular lunge and switch. So you'd stand, other foot steps back. We then go body weight. It's gonna be a back lunge to a front kick. You do two of those and then you hop to a squat, hop to a lunge facing the other direction. Instead of hopping, you can always just pulse and pivot on your feet to keep that low impact. Final exercise, we have one weight. It's gonna be a med ball or a dumbbell slam with a calf raise at the top, so weight overhead, and then you drop into a squat, lowering that weight. You don't actually slam it onto the ground. And then at the bottom, you're gonna give me a curl into your chest and you're gonna give me a little squat hop, lower the arms, start from the top. You can always give me a squat pulse instead of a squat hop to keep that one low impact. All right, we get the worst out of the way first, 60 second round, let's do it. So we're gonna be laying on our back for that windshield wiper with the legs and that single arm chest press. Now important, whatever elbow is down on the floor, you're gonna drop your legs to that side, okay? Because it's gonna help support us. And you're not bringing your feet all the way to tap the floor, okay? You don't need to go that low. It is only as low as you can control with the obliques. So let's lay on our back. We are neutral through the spine. You can give me bent knees or you can straighten those legs. One arm is up, the other is down. You have the back of the arm on the floor for support. Whatever arm is on the floor, let's go. You drop the legs over that side. Exhale, connect your obliques. Use them to drag your legs back overhead. Switch your arms. Inhale to lower those legs. Exhale, connect to the obliques, bring them back up. Switch the arms. Again, your legs do not need to go very far. Your, op your opposite hip is going to come off the ground a little bit, but it does not need to come off very far. If this is too much, I want you to bend those knees, okay? The breath is important. Inhale, initiate the exhale, feel your core engage, use those obliques to gra uh, drag your legs back up towards the ceiling. Any discomfort through your lower back, woo, rest. I would definitely recommend bent knees and making it really small, okay? All right, so now we are going to come to balance behind our sitting bones for a curl to press. So start, feet on the ground, and you're gonna scoop the lower spine so you're behind your sitting bones, but stay open through the chest, and then we're gonna come to a balance. We curl and press, woo, trying to balance, and reverse it. Woo, that was not smooth, sorry. Curl, press, we are rotating as we do this. So palms face your shoulders, and as you do the shoulder press, rotate them forward, back to face your shoulders, and lower. If your hip flexors really bother you in this balanced position, try crossing one ankle over the other. as little rocking as possible. Big challenge for the core. We will come to stand after this. Oh, whew, rest. All right, come to stand, you just need one weight. 
So we are going to do that torso twist in a lunge, jump lunge, switch. So you'll grab the weight in both hands. Doesn't matter which foot starts forward, but whatever foot is forward, you twist over that leg. So press the weight forward, twist over that front leg, reverse it, weight into your chest, jump lunge, switch. Now when you twist, try to keep your hips level. So don't pull one forward and don't drop one down. So that might mean your twist is tiny. That is okay. You can always step, step instead of jump. The jump only happens when the weight is in close to your center of gravity. Ooh, rest. Okay, we're going body weight, but we're building off of that lunge. So it's gonna be back lunge to kick twice, hop to a squat, hop to a lunge or pivot. So I'm bringing foot to hand with that kick. You don't have to though. One, kick two. And then from your lunge, hop to a center squat, hop, you're in a lunge facing the other direction. Two kicks the other side. If those kicks aren't working for you, I want you to knee drive instead, just like that, okay? You can always pulse and pivot instead of hopping. Get low in that lunge in between your kicks, okay? Low. Rest, need a single weight again. So it's a squat slam with a calf raise at the top, curl, little squat hop. There's a lot to this combo. If you mess something up, don't worry. In fact, in the modification, just a heads up, I do uh, do a calf raise at the bottom by accident. Just ignore that. It's just calf raise at the top. So weight overhead, lift those heels. Weight lowers, but stay open through the chest. Curl, little squat hop or pulse. Final 60 second interval of the day. My legs are screaming at me. When you come to the top, you need to brace through your core and your glutes and make sure that you're not rolling outward on the ankles. So really press through your big toe to do the calf raise. Done. Whew. 45 seconds to rest. All right, 60 second round is done. 45 seconds to move. We will be back down on the mat. So we'll be down on the mat. We have that single arm kind of chest press and that oblique windshield wiper. Legs can be straight or knees can be bent. I should have grabbed my weights when I was seated. <laughs> that was not graceful. All right, one elbow down, one fist up. Remember, drop your legs over to the side that has your arm down and anchored. Inhale, exhale, use your obliques to bring it to the top. Switch the arm placement. Keep both shoulders on the ground. Oof. 
rest. All right, come up to seated. We're gonna balance behind our sitting bones. We have that curl to shoulder press. Switch the placement of my mic real quick. All right, roll behind your sitting bones, scoop through the lower spine, open through the chest, palms face up to start. We lift those feet off the floor, curl, press. It's an Arnold press, so you have that rotation. Curl, palms face in, press up, palms face forward, reverse it. Don't hold your breath as you do this. All right, come up to stand. You just need one weight. In the lunge, we have that torso twist. Jump lunge to switch. Grab the weight at its ends. The jump lunge happens when the weight is in at your chest. Doesn't matter which foot is forward, but remember you're going to twist in that direction. Press the weight forward at chest height. Twist. Bring it in. Switch. If you're uncomfortable jumping, holding the weight, do that step and switch instead for me, okay? Rest, we go body weight. Back lunge, front kick. Your leg doesn't have to be totally straight during the kick if you're tight through the hamstrings. Don't worry about how high up the leg gets. You can always do the knee drive instead. Let's go. Two kicks. Light on your feet as you hop to a squat, hop to a lunge, other direction. Oh, rest. All right, grab that weight. So it's that squat slam, calf raise at the top. Curl, little squat hop at the bottom. Final 45 second interval. We can do it. Weight overhead, calf raise. With control lower into your squat. Curl, hopper pulse, reverse it. If you feel unstable doing the calf raise, then eliminate it. When you lower that weight, don't round forward with your shoulders. Stay open through the chest so you're really controlling it. Rest, you have 30 seconds. Oh man. All right, we're in our final round. 30 seconds each move. It's gonna go by real quick. And then you are done with this workout. Let's do it. Gonna start with that windshield wiper, that obliques twist. All right, one elbow is bent down on the ground to anchor yourself for the twist. One arm is overhead. Neutral through the spine, legs lift up straight or bent up to you. Drop your legs over to the side that the elbow is down. Keep the opposite shoulder on the floor. Switch at the top. Again, this does not have to be a big drop. If your opposite shoulder starts to come off the floor, you've gone too far. 
Woo, all right, roll it up, balance behind those sitting bones as I quickly change the clip of my mic, scoop through the lower spine, balance behind your sitting bones, but open through the chest, curl to press, feet at a hover. You can cross the ankles if that feels better for your hip flexors or embrace the challenge for your hip flexors. It's an isometric hold for them. So you should feel them working. We just wanna make sure that we're also feeling the lower abdominals. So we really gotta stay scooped through that lower spine. If the overhead press causes too much rocking, you could just do the bicep curl. Whew. All right, one weight, come to stand. We have that torso twist, jump lunge switch. Three work intervals to go, we're getting there, we got it. Square hips, level hips. Weight at chest height. Press it, twist. Reverse it, jump lunge. Weight goes down. Lunge, kick, lunge, kick, hop, hop, other side. Two work intervals to go. So we wanna get our heart rate up on this one. Don't rush it so much though that you lose balance. So it's a steady pace but it's controlled. Oh, grab that weight. Final exercise, calf raise. Swing the weight down, curl, squat hop. I find it's easier to start at the bottom. Brace through your core, squeeze your glutes at the top. Calf raise is through the big toe. So don't roll to the outside of your ankles. You are so close to being done with your workout. Let's go. Done. Awesome work, put the weight down. Whoo, I'll bring you through a quick cool down. Oh. I like to start standing so we can continue to catch our breath. So let's do that standing quad stretch. Grab a foot in your hand, pull the heel in towards your seat. Drop the tailbone down. Shake it out, switch sides. Good, release that foot. From here, if you can do so without like all the blood rushing to your head, we're just gonna fold forward. And we're gonna walk our hands out to a plank position. And then from plank, Lift those hips up or down dog. And I want you to pedal out through the heels. And when you're done pedaling, I want you to sink into this. So just press both heels down towards the floor. Press your chest towards your thighs. When you're ready, I want you to shift forward into a plank and then drop your knees down into a tabletop. Take your right arm, weave it under the left cheek to the mat and walk your left arm forward. Direct your breath into that mid-back. Walking your left hand in, press through center over to the other side. Left weaves under right, cheek to the mat, right arm walks forward, breathe into your mid-back.
walking your right hand in, press through tabletop. We're gonna to come to a seated position. You're gonna take your left foot, you're gonna step it outside the right knee. You're gonna hug that knee into your chest for an outer hip glute stretch. If you'd like to take it into a twist, you keep hugging that knee in towards your chest. You sit up nice and tall, and you are just going to look over that left shoulder. We'll take it through center and we'll switch the cross. Right foot plants outside a left thigh. Hug that knee in towards your chest, sit nice and tall. Again, sorry I had to do a voiceover during part of this. This is a brand new mic, so I'm so frustrated it keeps doing this. But a few videos this month that you're gonna notice a quick voiceover. I, or, I'm ordering a new one, but I gotta make do. Take it to a twist if you've done the other side. I gotta make do for now. Coming through center, find a comfortable cross-legged position. Let's just take one breath together, inhaling arms up. Exhale, let it go. And that is your workout. Awesome job.